I have people with specifically just like strategically do them little idiot song and chat about Ja and Babylon and whatever <laughs> and God shake up them locks two time and dance on stage like some monkey and collect them little money and come back to Jamaica and it's just like yo it just make the thing look stupid mm. you see me and it make the man them way really love the music and work hard upon these fears just look like yo this is what we need to be doing some other artists they just them grow them locks and they become regga- oh i'm a reggae artist brother now. you see when chronic you see with the whole reggae revival thing one mm. are the most locks must be just a grow out a man head <laughs> And man just wear red, green and gold belt and one bag of sitting and everybody turn artist. Say, yeah man, yeah man. You Rasta designer thing, style. Like, you see me like, it's, it, it's Rasta just... Rasta is untrained. McKean, Create really. a Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> Rasta is our us. Rasta is Fire, 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 fire. Welcome back to the Fix Podcast. It's your boy now here with Ari. But there are people. But we have with us... A special guest. I feel bad now when we just use special. Like we just use guests with them. Because they're used to hear me. I call people special guests. So if you discontinue it, it, it just feels like, oh. <laughs> You have to choose the right person for discontinuity. Not you. Jaro is a special guest of the building, people. Them call man the feature killer. Like, uh, yeah. Royal Blue. True. Uprising artists and the building people. Yeah, bless, up, bless up, bless up, bless up. So let's yeah, just talk bad. about, just as you said, a feature, a feature killer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you love to collaborate. Is it that? Like you love to collaborate with yeah. your favorite artist, your personal favorite artist? So. I mean, I mean, it's that, it's that thing where, I mean, people just like me as well. Okay. You get me? So I'm pretty No, friendly. but them come to you. So you must be like, eh, do I want to? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Definitely. It's a case where, you know, I have to be a fan of, your music and and i rate you as well because mm-hmm. i mean it is a chemistry thing so mm-hmm. i can't just work with any and anybody so with people like chaos i mean i've been a fan of chaos but at the same time we did have to wait for the right song because chaos kind of <laughs> you have moments where our song like our content not really mesh mesh you know? okay yeah. so we'll find a perfect song i'll just work on things so yeah how is it how important would you say is that like for find up perfect link there for make things mesh because it seems like some people don't really put thought to that when they collaborate with people mm-hmm. um, I, f- I feel like it's very important because it has to do with knowing your brand as well and knowing mm. what, what, what you're bringing in your music as well because that way you're not going to do any or any song with anybody and then end up I do a gun tune with somebody when you're not a bad man you, see me? Or you don't represent anything like that so I mean, yeah, it's good to just... It's, you have to know your brand, first of all. That's just it. So what's I mean, your brand? I mean, my People brand... People who don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you think your brand is. Mm. Um, I mean, it's, it's still something that you figure out as you go along. But mm-hmm. I feel like people just like... They, 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 they like the flow and they like the cadence and they like... I, I find that women really like the music as well. Which is always good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Come here, represent for the girl in FDGD for the girl in Miss <laughs> Okay. <the> shirt, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which song of yours did I say the more respond to so far? Um, I haven't dropped anything that much like within the past year, but naturally they respond to like Crazy Over You and, and, and Jungle as songs that are uh, featured. Uh, on, like uh-huh. Women just go crazy. Everywhere we perform it, even if them don't know the song, it's like... It Instantly just, the yeah, beat, yeah. yeah. It just carry our energy. And things like... The song like Jungle is like... I don't know, people that... Girl, women just love that because it's a soft singing and it's aimed towards women. So, yeah, them love it. Was a conscious decision by you for no release too much song like that in the past year or so? As in like songs ab- about women or just... No, like singles. Oh, singles. Yeah, um, yeah it was a conscious deci- um, decision because, I mean... First of all, I lost my studio. You get me? So I, I, I didn't well, really... Hold on, why you lost your studio? No, not last, like... Uh, I'm going to get you lost out of my studio. Like, drop out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh, the, we lost the studio space. Uh, you get me? So I, I wasn't really working. Why? How? How you lose a studio space? Um, Refurbishing? No, like, they were, the place that they were renting is, like, the landlord decided to demolish build up an apartment complex. Oh. The land, so, you know, Jamaica is just... 
be an apartment complex on Apparently the road. Apparently from now then, yeah. 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 So mm-hmm. that's going to be a big More road. More on one. <laughs> 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 Hopefully yeah. there are people to rent it, but that's yeah, an next yeah. question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I was just taking time off to just kind of know which direction I wanted to go and stuff. Because I mean, in 2017, I dropped an EP with, with Forrester, um, a German producer, and it's like, not that it wasn't well received, but I feel like it wasn't what I wanted. So I just kind of had to take a step back and be like, all right, then, me if you recollect and just forward back with something. But just like a shell people meds. So what you mean not is not what you yeah, wanted. What of, I mean um, like it was, the quality. And, yeah. What? I'm um, not numbers and and but I just feel like you know there's certain songs on on the EP that was like yo they had the potential to be playing everywhere. Mm. You get me? And it's a learning process because we learn that I mean we have to we have to do proper promotion. We have to do proper pre planning and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I mean. Because we because the rollout with that was like how it was, we learned that all right, yo, we need for just link up with distributors and plan with little promo run and link up with people and actually go out into the streets and network with people and stuff like that. We kinda just drop it on an internet level. Uh-huh. So it just kinda felt like it never have that in the streets impact like I like I knew it could have, mm. you know. So yeah. Yeah. So they don't want it have like in the streets impact like like yeah, that, definitely. Yeah. I feel like everybody want the industry's thing because at the end of the day, that's where you see like the real connection because mm. followers and number like you can fake all of them things. Like mm. you can inflate the whole of them. Thing. Like there's so many loopholes for for SoundCloud and YouTube and all of them things. So you never really know if your impact is like really real. Mm. Mm. So when you really connect with the streets is when you know that all right then you, you yeah do something right you get me your sound though we we're talking to Walchi like two weeks ago and he's saying mm-hmm. that there is a new song coming out of jamaica mm-hmm. and with your your again how you sound your flow it's yeah. really rap you mm-hmm. know but people i guess people would see the dreadlocks yeah. would think that you're a reggae artist and the sound should be like i guess traditional reggae but mm-hmm. i guess the, the the thing is and it's clear that the new generation isn't with the retrofitting or what we think reggae is supposed to be. You agree with that? Like we've, I mean, we've evolved past the traditional I, I reggae like sound. Evolved like fully past it because it's, it's always something that's incorporated because I still the reggae, I still love reggae. Mm-hmm. But growing up, you know, you, you're very influenced by hip hop. Mm-hmm. Like hip hop is the biggest genre in the world. There's no way that you cannot be influenced by it. Mm. You get me? So to just be stuck in the box of doing reggae is it, it don't make any sense to me because we have so much more that we can offer there's so much more things that we can say that just cannot be captured on a reggae rhythm alone mm. you get me so. but you know the thing is you're doing not you're not doing reggae you mm. know the sound that it don't sound like it's reggae yeah mm. probably there's a little you can hear sounds or yeah, like yeah, instrumentations, yeah, but the the whole overall feel is not reggae. But I feel like if you're supposed to put up an album or yeah. it's going to be in the reggae category, yeah, you're going to, to people are going to think of you as a reggae artist. Do yeah, you consider yeah. yourself a reggae artist? Yeah, naturally. Okay. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm only a reggae artist, but it's, it's one of the things that I'm capable of doing. Mm-hmm. And coming from Jamaica, naturally. You either dance or you reggae. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, might as well be reggae. I have the locks. <laughs> I have, have the but message. Don't you think so. that it's a little unfair, though? Like, it's definitely unfair. unfair that def- you're boxed in. Yeah, it's definitely unfair, but it's just one of those things that you have to learn to accept being born in Jamaica and doing music in Jamaica. It's like, that's what people abroad expect from you. If it's not dance all, mm-hmm. it's reggae. Like, they'll accept the little hip hop and the little this, that, that, but. At the end of the day, what they want from us is reggae because if when them want hip hop, them are go to me goes and them are go to them. Them have them surrounded by that every mm-hmm. single day. Mm-hmm. You get me? So what they want from us essentially is just reggae. But yeah. it's our job to not necessarily like totally neglect reggae, but find a new way for just for just kind of evolve the thing. Cause we can't just have the same one drop rhythm them and them same little. Mm. A nine generic reggae rhythm, and we just like we need to evolve the thing, you see me? Mm. You think that this evolution will eventually result in the creation of a, a, of a new genre? As Definitely. While she did say a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. right? 
Definitely. Yeah, and, and I mean, we reach the stage now where people are trying to find a name. Mm. But finding a name is like, it's so hard because everything sounds corny. Mm. <laughs> I feel, I feel unafraid for call it something because I don't want to disrespect the people them before. No, no me, no say, business, me no really business about disrespecting people before. It's clear. Yeah. Look at like Twitter. It's, it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. clear. Yeah, yeah but there's like this this sentiment that yo, I'm thinking we actually touch upon it like you know not really at least the people them involved in it them kind of touches but calling it something because them don't want to seem disrespectful to the the hardcore reggae people them and mm-hmm. then they don't want people so them egotistical and them type of thing there. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the issue for some people. Oh. Um, but at the end of the day. Bro, you go to Europe, you go to them places, yeah. them I go love, but come go to Europe, I'm going to sing songs that weren't reggae. Mm. Mm. And people didn't move better like me. I'm, and I'm literally a nobody to them. I'm new to them. Mm-hmm. Again, because a promo run me I do over there. And I run out and I sing songs where have samples in there like um, Ella Fitzgerald sample and one bag of something, one bag of different weird things. And the people them love it. Mm. So it's not a case of like, it's like we're literally the ones boxing ourselves in. Mm. Like, mm. Because some man just feel like, say, yo, yo, this is all you do reggae and me, you know the thing. May I do this for all long and may I push that button here all long. Oh, yeah, tell me something for push that button there over there. So, like, it's just an ego thing. You mm. know what I mean? So, so you don't think that you can do. Okay, it's it, this is going to be a weird question and to some it may be a stupid question. But mm-hmm. the thing is, don't you think you could do the traditional sounding reggae but add yeah. a little flair to it no, without de- it m- really merging into hip-hop and definitely. pop how it's on how is it sounding every, now everybody in this everybody in this new era we do that there are mm. times when because i have songs out there and i have songs coming out that they're reggae like they're the traditional reggae i love doing traditional reggae but to mm-hmm. put me in a studio and say yo just do this only no, this nothing else. like okay. that just annoying mm. because there's as i said there's so much more you can offer that mm-hmm. actually happened to you of course mm. i sat in a studio like i know i'm not gonna call the name but sat in a studio the other day and it's like yo press play upon certain song as a as the song start the man is just like yo i just may talk about the bugger this that that and the bugger thing the dance at the essence of it is engineer is he's, he's an engineer producer manager one bag of different things. I try now, right? Though, yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> no, detective. No. <laughs> so, what do you mean? Do your job now, or journalist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask questions. No, I'm not gonna call the name. I mean, I'm gonna know. It's the boy Stava, no. You see me? Stava, no. Yeah, boy Stava, no. Stava, call him. I'm not gonna call the name because that's still up in the air, but mm. it's just like. I'm gonna know now after him. The, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> the pussy nigga up on top of your story. Yo, the man, the man now go out work with me after this. Uh, yeah, man, you think we never see when you act. Uh, so <laughs> you. But no, for real though, it's like, as the rhythm start play, mm-hmm. and let me tell you, the underlying thing of the rhythm, it is a dance hall rhythm. It's a mm. dance hall song. The man here, like, probably two or three more instruments than where I'm used to. Mm. And the man is just like, yo, no, get this shit out of here. Like, we don't want to hear this. Like, wow. Whoa. Wow. I'm like, bro, just listen. No, like, this is dance out. Mm-hmm. You see me? But the mind just closed, like, fully, fully closed. And mm. it, at the end of the day, it's not up to them kind of man there for determine where music go. Mm-hmm. It's not. Them did have them time. You have your time. You do what you do with your time. It's our time now. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's just as simple as that. The comment section <laughs> describe you as a as a as a Lupe fiasco, and when you listen to it, it's like I think which comment section? His YouTube comment section, oh, is it? not yeah, ours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I interview me, I did this at the first interview. Man, I don't even look on the comment section. When I want to see it, yo, them things. It's accessible, right? Not even weird. Yeah, it is. I think they will have a feeling insecure. You're going to bed and you say, "Yo, John, am I really that?" So you've received negative criticism before? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like I remember, like I used to work at um. Bojo Studio, because one of my bridge in them is Bojo Son, Mark mm-hmm. Myrie. Like, when we did in a high school, and right after we leave high school, like, I used to be around there. And Bojo engineer just looked at me and said, Yo, you're not going to bust, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Like, the man just straight up, t- like, and he must say, yo, you're bad, you know? Like, he's a bad writer, but you just now nah, go bust. As an artist? That's... Yeah, like, as an artist. I was like, yo, who is this nigga, dog? Like, <laughs> this old nigga, I tell you, I look at me and I say, yo, man, nah, go bust. Like, uh, man, I, that was the first bad so, comment I ever get. So, wow. why him say you never go bust? Like, after listening to, to this your day, song? To this day, yeah. I feel, no, I mean, at that time, like, I can understand what him did I say. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. But, I'm sure if you hear me now, you might go say, oh, all right, then, well. But, yeah, at that time, I, they had the foolishness, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it was like in terms of the greenness of songs and them things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Like, but they just still young and, and never really know what they do. So, at that time, it was right. We talk about this new movement and, and the collaboration, but it seems like there's this clique or a farm with, with, with the whole land. Is an organic thing or is someone conscious that say, oh, a power with one of the, one of the that and support? Name them. It's like Rolling like, Coast, Coast in, Black Ear. Uh, Rasai. Rasai. Black Ear. Yeah. I mean, is that, is that thing? All right, I knew Rolling Coast from high school days. Mm. Like, my crew and theme crew used to clash. So, I never did like him. But I did, did always respect him. It's yeah. me, so, I know him from them time day. All of these things is just like, we just know each other through another person. You know, mm. because through Runkus, Mano, Rasa. And tell you the truth, I mean, I never, I don't even think me and Rasa ever talked about that story before, but I never really liked him at first. We <laughs> can't say that. To <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to he's he's to, a easily unlikable. Really? Even yeah, him yeah. know it. Him know it. Wow. Him know it too. Him know it too. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. we did have a show. Him disgusting. We had a show. How? Really? We did, we, did, we, did, we did have a show one time, and it's like, your friend Rasa, Rasa, <laughs> the night was getting late and Rasa was like yo I can go before you cause I don't really want to close I get tired I said alright I understand that go on dating man perform the man I perform it's like the man up there for an hour and mm. me I get tired now <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside I'm outside and me I say yo what kind of style that the man go pull you see me I'm just there at the side of the stage man I say yo I just have a mind for this run on stage and kick down everything <laughs> <laughs> you know, like me outside, a boy, um, everybody I look, they say, yo, you know, I don't know. style. They say, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Munga, I'm Munga. Definitely, yeah, Munga. I'm Munga style. <laughs> Munga, I'm artist, you see me? <laughs> but yeah, man, like, he, he, but everybody like him. And, and <laughs> from, from this, so it's like, we just have a little issue, but we tap on the phone and one bag or something and we just turn friend after you know you yeah, get a call after this after him so this you know. yeah yeah well, so man, 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 man my, my lad my, my lad yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah big up yourself bro, so, yeah, oh, yo, me hit him me hit him well you make a really bad tune I love it so yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. over you can you just talk about that yeah cause the first time I heard it, I think we were at um his showcase Russ I had a showcase up by um Skyline you heard it before that you heard it before that well, I guess yeah, in privilege, it's an but thing, you know? yeah, the, the whole mass culture, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> but the first, when I heard it, I was just like, this song is amazing. Like it was, it just connected to me, and then you know, Nara gets it, and we listen it over and over, and it, it's just like the more you listen to it, it's just the more you fall in love with it, and you're like. I just want to find somebody to be crazy over here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just feel that way. Yeah, so yeah, true. just the vibe of it. How how to come up together? How to know that you know and wanted um, to get it, this song. Just if it's one thing with Russia, is that in love for unify everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like I guess him dig through like some archives of old songs we, or unfinished songs we did have, mm. and him send me and Runkus the song like with just the chorus alone. And I was like, yo, I feel like the trio we need to do a song, like finish this and just release it. And instantly when I hear it, I say, yo, this is a classic. Like mm-hmm. this is a song like a, this song like when my hair is still searching with gang and mm. and, and Steve Oman and, mm. and I say, yo, it just it gave me that feeling there. And mm. I was like, yo, for sure, like we just gotta do a song for sure, for sure. And it almost feel like when I did I just think like when I look upon her and a girlfriend and then just sing it. It, it, it just felt yeah. All the love emotions in that song, trust me. Yeah, man, Runkos did a did a sing about him crazy experiences. Uh, <laughs> uh, <and> I, <laughs> can't can't <laughs> hear it. Yeah, <laughs> done <an> intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? like yeah, man, based on a true story, man. Wow, all of these things are based on true story. I mean, it might be exaggerated a bit, but mm. uh, for sure. Someone on the text song put out a video. Yeah. Sure. Yo, forget the trio in one place, brother, mm. is one of the hardest things ever. 
when like, it's so busy how it's not moral it's not even a busy thing it's just like yo rasa live at kingston ruggles live at portmore me live at spain so uh. it's like we literally have a like join forces somehow like we literally have a planet <laughs> man, man, look like them live like country yeah. and, and I was expecting one to live at like Negril I want to live at yeah. St. Thomas I want to live at Kemi that's how it feels sometimes literally I want to live in the Kingston <laughs> metropolitan <laughs> area I want to link up for play ball me and Runkos link up for play ball like Rasai them man when I have to link him live at ball feed yeah I know I'm going to get that clear them man live at a football factory but yeah, it it it's it hard to get the trail away, same place. I mean me and Rasai probably link up more because Runkos is a man where when him in a studio and when him have a goal set in mind, like you're not gonna see him. Mm. It's me like him lock up in a studio, he might do him engineering, producing, you're not gonna see him. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I probably get to link up with Rasai a bit more, but just get the trail away one place mm-hmm. is only because like there were so many women on set dealing with the video mm. why the whole i would probably get for roll out because women you know women them just very organized and precise it's like yo gonna reach us at this time and just make we do this and that was it Come well on. i'm glad some women were there to really get yeah, this going yeah, and yeah. i hope we promote some man, this if cause... it was some man it would have never the video would have never do ever this, <laughs> not, like, there would be that nothing would be a priest, this will get the full yeah, single treatment it you needs know? to yeah, be yeah, yeah. single and push promote. video all of these things definitely, glad definitely. This is it, it finally reached so it, guys i'm nice doing video. a selfish favor because i really want this song to bust so out there just go look up crazy over you featuring well, Rasai featuring Runkus and Raya Blue. Do yourself yeah, a favor. Listen to it. No, check yeah. out and I miss out. Yeah, song. yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't make your girl see my part doing you know, a car. See it there. It's a, just a disclaimer. What is <laughs> my? <laughs> All right, so let's talk about let's talk about Royal Blue the person. Yeah. Yeah. So I think one of the ways you showcase yourself is mm. through your Twitter. Yeah, yeah definitely. And you you've been seeing some inflammatory things on your Twitter. <laughs> that inflammatory. I'm inflammatory, you know? <laughs> and I just have to I need to I need you to Royal See, Blue like, you know, you know, the tweets. At Royal <laughs> Blue <laughs> Industry and couple ways man within it sick me of fret. That's one day let's ago. Start about one. <laughs> let's start about that one the first. Like who who are the industry man? What 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 them do? For sick it because we I can't mean, concur it's, it's, with somebody. It's just like the it's the same thing with their tabo. It's just like being boxed in like producer engineer it's... brother i get a beat <laughs> Yo, no bro it, like i truly don't know how much it just it upset me like oh sometime i go back home and i listen back the man them song them and my song them. i'm just like yo what anybody could i have to say about this at all like mm. i understand like because at the end of the day i understand marketing and mm-hmm. all right then jamaican artists doing trap it's not like say yo that's what people abroad want to hear blah 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 i get yeah. all of that but at the end of the day that's not just what we do that's not what all of we do there's mm. the whole way of tracks so where i sing where i do reggae where i do dance where i do that we're capable of doing so much so for somebody older than you and somebody from my next generation i look on it and i say yo you need to do this and you need to do that and then the rhythm and the thing them with them i bring to the table is just like bro we're greater than this like mm-hmm. we, 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 we reach further than this you get me mm-hmm. we can't just uh, stick to like the same generic patterns over and over just for try reach a europe and just for try like that is what what gonna happen is that we're gonna lose feeling and we're gonna lose meaning because everything we do right now the world of the man they might do music from them heart mm. that's first first and foremost we do it from our heart because we love it we not do it because it's just like yo we understand it's a business as well for sure but at the same time if you take any one of our song them and you market it properly it can go anywhere in the world mm. i promise you mm-hmm. just give it a chance that's all i need for just give it a chance so you feel like no the music is like people creating music now for the purpose of just selling and not necessarily to have any sort of yeah. meaning or yeah, any yeah, sort yeah, yeah. of definitely because I, People definitely because as much as like I feel like reggae is is very seasonal in terms of there's there's <coughs> there's festivals and club shows and whatever set up throughout specific times within the year. And in Jamaica? Have, 
no, 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 like, oh, like, I'm wrong. Yeah, okay. I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. California, um, over Europe, UK, all them places. Mm-hmm. So you have people with specifically just like strategically do them little idiot song and chat about Jam and Babylon and whatever. <laughs> And go <laughs> shake up them locks two time and dance on stage like some monkey and collect them little money and come back to Jamaica. And it's just like, yo, it just make the thing look stupid. Mm. Mm. You see me? And it make the man them way really love the music and work hard upon these fears. Just look like, yo, this is what we need to be doing as well when, no. Get to, the sec- get to the second tweet now. Right. I think he was saying the same thing. <clears throat> so you have re- you have reggae and then you have reggae that's strategically done. So anybody with locks and voice can go to Europe in the summer. You know? So it's just like... Is Everybody that thing that is actually saying, happens? Yeah, no, some of them are not good, brother. Like really and truly. And it's not to... It's not to be disrespectful. Is, yeah, I'm not disrespecting when you're being one disrespectful. specific. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not disrespecting. But I'm not, not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not disrespecting. I'm not like, utmost disrespect. <laughs> like I'm not disrespecting. What, there's no one person in my mind when me attack. Okay. You see me like it's I've just, been here. You know, there's some other artists that just them grow them locks and they become reggae. Oh, I'm a reggae artist. Brother, now. you see when chronic, you see when the whole reggae revival thing go on. Mm. At the most locks must be just a grow out a man head. <laughs> And man just wear red, green, and gold belt, and one bag of sitting, and everybody turn artist. Say, yeah, man, yeah, man. You Rasta designer style. You see me like, it's, it's just. Rasta is on trend. Create a Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> Rasta is our us. Rasta is our Yeah, man, it, it's oh crazy, man. Oh, my God. Man. Well, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't really say, but if you, if you feel that's your experience, then, then that's your experience. But, mm-hmm. you know, people, people just try, there's so many artists in Jamaica, you know, and everybody I try yeah, to yeah, find yeah. some sort of formula, some sort of cheat code in order for, to, to make it and if them can well, if it's the locks that work if thing. it's this that work if it's that that work them are gonna and do it everybody needs to be artists mm. it's a simple tell person. them that hold on let me no, draw for the real them. hold on let me draw for the real applause yeah. yes or no <laughs> <laughs> yes I've <laughs> <laughs> been like, tell them long time <laughs> Jeremy Sackler <laughs> like may I, tell you, may I tell you straight up even if for some strange reason mm. even I'm not supposed to be an artist then that's just all the thing go. Mm. Not because you, you even can write a song or you can sing means say you can be yeah, a that, that is true. Mm. It's just that. But just how like, you know though? Because there are so many people that boss that, in my estimation, shouldn't be an artist. But them boss, them get the boss the yeah, song them, and them, them are forced into and them that. Get, them get them one song. Them get them like a fifty minutes of fame uh-huh. and then them gone back at Digicel go work. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. No, but you know, some of them keep on them a claw to that. Them get the the yeah, boss, the fame, smart. the hype, and them a try claw to it. So it's like they'll do everything mm. in order okay. to, to keep that. They're, yeah, yeah. They're, Cloud they're within everywhere. the space, they should not be an artist. Yeah, 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 but true. they're trying. And it, it's not just locally. So I'm not trying to throw a word on anybody locally. But internationally, too, you see some mm. people just get a one song. You know, it's a height of fame. Somebody said to me, say, if you get one song, you you're know, good I'm for not, life. I'm not, I'm not even hating you know, because <laughs> yeah. you see the people that get a one song mm-hmm. and then them take it and then flip the money there and then do something else, mm-hmm. invest in a land, what, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Like, that's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's perfectly fine. But it's just the man them went in the music and like totally just joke out the thing. and Them just, not like, put in the work. Yeah, them not put in yeah, the work. It's just like, it's just a joke. It's like a hustle. Me at them. Yeah. yeah. Can them just water down the thing and then make the whole of it just look stupid at the end of the day? Mm. We burn them out every week. <laughs> How much every I appreciate week? That. Well, I mean, <clears throat> with access to everything, you know, so everybody have a, yeah. and they have a laptop and they all can do so many things on one, that one laptop. So That's it's just true. like it really, there's no, and there's no gateway and there's no more channel now. So if you can just, if me, if we as a rate when we separate, radio. Yeah? No yeah. one play it. Then can just put it on YouTube and SoundCloud and hey promote this. Da, 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 and yeah, but even then, as I said, own. like them thing there, it now got translate into real actual fans. And when I say real fans, but I mean the people where I go willing for stand out in the rain for see you. I go willing for like go to hell and powder house for just for see up on stage for singing one little song or a two little song. Like some of them, them fool themselves of them family member. Comment on them thing and say, Yo, this bad artist. Yeah. <laughs> we sit you all on the trick, them all right. Imagine right. just the fact that people like 
you will go as far for just bring a clique of people and one bag of sick now you show them and what like that's not real to me because that that just that just looks stupid they look like a clown but everybody needs support and if you can get no, it through th- family there's, there's, then why not there's there's support and then there's just being insecure mm. you get me if you want if you're really passionate about being an artist go up the pan stage and sing a song and either get your boo or get your applause and come off and they, it's as simple as that don't try to create a world around it for me don't cheat it yeah you don't have to go through it don't create a world around it a way up where you can manipulate it for make yourself feel good and no mm. that's not being an artist i remember one brother linked me one time said yo just give me 200 a month mm. give me an instagram password and then what we are gonna do is that we're gonna make a comment under these things and then the hashtag this and that. i'm like brother 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 no it's not that serious like mm. when did it get so serious brother like <laughs> Why am I gonna pay two hundred a month for some like random spam white followers? Like, I'm not understand that. I see a million people who have ten k followers, mm-hmm. and then I follow like two hundred people. But look on them pictures, them have like a million likes. Look on the comment, them must say three, three, three comment, three, and, and it's from the, the bots. Them no, 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 no. This is unacceptable. From the white people, them get from the hashtag. Them great job, bro. <laughs> You see me? Like, it, it, it look away. Just build a fan base in an organic way. Please. It's as simple as that. And mm. if you can't do that, boy, music and a feel. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about something else because I see something else. And I'd the like Grammy, to know the if, Grammy tweet. if yeah. nobody paid you yet. Third and final. Page me, boy. Yeah. When you say you're not listening <clears throat> to what? Shaggy and Sting album. album, but you know, say it's not good. Have you listened to the album? No, it's not nothing personal against Shaggy or whatever. Or sting, but it's just like my just no say it not good. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Like my don't need to listen to Shaggy and Sting. You hear them two names there? Shaggy and Sting. That cannot be good. Oh so you get me? And it's not and it's not it's no this is because Shaggy is a legend and him putting in the work and all like I respect Shaggy. But No, no, right, I blue all that works they say that before you say. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Things that could be not deemed disrespectful. Yeah. 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 Face like I say, go, I say, go, like, not a problem. So why, why, why is it that they think that it could not be good? And I believe that you can take it to you know, it's um, the MC, like, you can't take <laughs> it for you know, real. Yeah. 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 Um, why I feel that is just you know, it's going to be an easy I know, win. I know that they're, they're, they're probably friends and they have like a good chemistry together as, as friends. friends, but not because they have a good chemistry as friends, mean that. Yeah, I go do like a great body of work. You mm. can do great singles, cause there are single. There's like one and two singles after the album that I've heard. It's like, yeah, this is cool. But to listen to one whole album from Shaggy and Sting, that cannot be good. I'm not care I'm, nobody I'm from what I hear, Sting. Well, do. at least listen to and, it first. There, there were, <laughs> could at least get a listen. There, first, were, there were a lot of people who agree with me. No, I'm gonna listen to it for real. Mm. But, <laughs> you may change your mind. <laughs> but yeah, I might change my mind. Yeah. You see me? And people need to understand that, like, sometimes you can just assume that something not good, you listen it, you change your mind. There's mm. nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But as of now, just looking at it on paper, is just like, yo, this cannot be good. No. But like I said, from listening to um, uh, uh, one tune, I can't, really, can't remember the tune what well, Sting did do. Mm. But like, even though I even do one tune, like, in a reggae vibe, I just sound like something like April on a cruise ship. You know what I mean? Like them type of vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. White people are the regular yeah. music fan crew. And, and if it's know. geared to them kind of people, that's fine. Yeah. And them, them, and them and, and, and at the end of the day, <laughs> what I say about them album, that's my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. Although mm-hmm. it's not to try for like, don't play any of them credibilities or whatever. It's just my preference in music and whatever. Mm-hmm. And reggae, because I take reggae very serious. Yeah. You see me? That's why I don't even just take up myself and just do mediocre reggae because it's something that it have to be meaningful and remember say you have people who are dead for this mm-hmm. like for reggae music you have people who are dead for this you have people who live for this like you can't just out here just uh, do it because like you can just easily market it to some 
white people in California are you and it's no disrespect to white people in California or whatever. Yes, about this all the California reggae band, but that's what you No, I'm just saying that if you are gonna do it, at least just do it with like some meaning and mm. some substance behind it. You get me? Mm. You feel that as you get as you rise up more in you know, this thing or that you probably have to go curtail your tweets them in, in in the future. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but chaos for no, but for no, mega, for no mega while up, yes. <laughs> for no mega while up, man, on a PR a link me and say, yo, bro, like that one. Is it probably Stammer is the one that will probably link me, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? That tweet there. Stammer, you give him some more shaggy, bro. Jump out on that ledge, too. Stammer, you're not agree. Boy, the shaggy album. I don't know. Don't Yo, and, and I will meet Shaggy. Probably eventually, it's just like it's no hard feelings. Like mm. it's literally no hard feelings whatsoever. Because I, Shaggy by himself is a very great artist. Mm. Mm. He's yeah, an like, icon. An icon. Yeah. yeah. So. <sighs> well, Royal. We now go get for beat Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Yo, laughs> Those not our thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to the show. Oh and then, boy. Uh, right, boo. Give thanks for then though. I just say feature so, killer. Yeah, you say style yeah. and pattern. That's the that, that, that single out next Ocean. week. Yeah, no, next week Wednesday. I wish I knew the exact date that was, but yeah. Nah, from here, they look a preview. Man, say, yeah, man, I have a boss youth song. You know the cut <laughs> waiting and yeah, ready man, for go. Yeah, man, it's chill, that's the thirteenth. The thirteenth, yeah, man. Yeah, March thirteenth, everybody. Style and pattern produced by JL. Would you consider yourself a singer, a DJ, or a rapper? Definitely not a rapper, but I, I'd consider myself a singer, DJ, because. But you DJ, rap, DJ it, for me. I'm sick. No, I'm gonna feel like my rap because I never go up on a track and say, "Yo, what's up with these niggas, man?" And no, the, no, no. Never, no. I, why, why we I'm have gonna, to think of rapping like no, that? No, that's what that's what rapping that's is what for rapping me. That's what rapping is, really. You see me? What, what I know, what me do is DJ because me listen, me grow up, I listen cartel and them man, and them man they are DJ. Mm. You see me? I don't want to do that DJ. In a rapping sort of style. Yeah, yeah, it's like right. because I remember said American, then don't like when we do them shit there because it just don't sound exactly. authentic. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. No, so, I can rap. But man like Baker Steve's bad. Yeah, like, the man is so sick, brother. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I don't feel like I'm a rapper. Me's a singer, DJ. I hate the term sing J, so I'm not gonna ever call myself that. <laughs> okay. My kind of grow for it though. Okay. Yeah, Actually. Like... I have no problem with the term. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem. Yeah, you know who them are say, well, you know what? Raya Blue. You see, they're not like that, no problem. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I will give thanks for fun. Yeah. Yo, tell the people um, the, the tracks, them, and the albums that you've been featured on. Yeah. Um, I've been that, featured on. That, uh, that, 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 uh, that are out now. Yeah, I've been featured I'm on. Not still. Um, Crazy Over You by oh, Rasai. Yeah. Go listen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah featured in Rankos as well. Um, Ayatosh, a song named Nothing. Um, Jungle by Chaos. Listen the Parfum Melanin EP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel like I'm missing out. Oh, oh, Just Cool mm -hmm. by Ron Black Hero, man. Black Hero. That, that's Cold. my yeah, favorite yeah, yeah. song Cold on the album. Yeah, one yeah, yeah, one yeah, man, of my yeah, favorites, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, that's about it. I have more features on the way. But yeah, that's. Those so, are, are we? can we expect a body of work just from you? Well, yeah, I know man. you need to have your features on it, but yeah. something for you soon. Your yeah, yeah, I'm working, I'm working on a project with my producer, JL. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like he's my son. He's been my son for years mm -hmm. now, so I feel like it's only right that me and him link up and do a project together. Mm. Any date in mind? Time? Hmm? You have in mind in date or time? You have in mind in your job? Um, not sh I'm not sure. I'm not really trying to kill up myself. You're doing an album hard like trust me like independently yeah. it's very hard to do it take a lot of time and effort and money and mm -hmm. stuff so and I, I just go in with the floor right now we have a bunch of songs right now me and jay together mm -hmm. so we'll see what we're going probably before summer hopefully nah, i look forward to it, man. Yeah. Look forward to it.